Hello, wonderful life group leaders. I wanted to record a video for you today, and I wanted to tell you that first and foremost, you're doing a great job. Not only are you doing a great job, but you're doing the best job ever. Now, I don't just say that figuratively or playfully. I really mean it. We just crossed over the mark of 60 life groups at Bethel Church. That's over 100% growth in just one semester. Thank you for leading and serving on a leadership team at Bethel Church. This particular dream team of life group leaders is really blessing people as disciples of Christ. I wanted to also give you a couple of tips as the life group semester comes to a close in the fall. The first is this. Remember to take attendance regularly on Bethel Community. There's actually a great new app to help you with this, and it's called Lead. You can look it up on iOS uh, or on Android in the Play Store or in the App Store. And it lets you take attendance, manage your groups, reach out to your group members, remember their birthdays and special events. Uh, it's really a wonderful app. Uh, it helps us know who are in the groups and it helps you keep a personal relationship going with them outside of just the times that you see them either on a Sunday or when you meet with them throughout the week. A second tip is uh, if your group is finishing up or taking a break uh, after this fall semester, be sure to communicate that break day uh, and how you're finishing the season with great clarity for your group. Uh, you don't have to take a break. However, we really encourage you to do so uh, if you'd like to. We'll start the new season back up February 1st, uh, 2018, and that'll really give you two solid months to rest, enjoy the holidays, travel, do some things with your family, uh, and plan and prepare for whatever your next life group uh, is going to be in February. And on that note, it's our hope as a leadership team at Bethel that you'll continue leading a life group in the spring, whether it's a different life group or it's the same one. I know Sarah and I love leading our life group, and while we are looking forward to a break, uh, we also know that we'll be a little bit antsy as the spring comes. We'll be ready to start one back up again. For your final night of the year, I would recommend doing some sort of holiday celebration, uh, maybe a Thanksgiving dinner, uh, maybe a, a Christmas bash of some kind. This is a fun way to get together with everyone in your group, with the people that you love, to build great bonds. Uh, this would be a good way to end the season. Just make sure you communicate it really well. A third tip is this, uh, as a life group leader, uh, remember one of our most important jobs, and that is to raise up future life group leaders for you to be mentoring them. And I hope that this has been something regularly going on in your group where you're giving people a chance to expand their leadership and to grow, and also in the hopes that they will one day lead their own life group. And this one day could be very soon. To do this best, I'd ask that each of you think of people in your group who have shown consistency, influence, leadership potential uh, in your group this fall season. Then I want you to have a personal conversation with that person. Share with them how much you believe in them, how much you love them, how much you see that they could be a great life group leader. Sometimes someone wants to or they feel it, but they just uh, are not ready to take the step by themselves. But with a little bit of belief and encouragement, they'll be ready to make that jump. There are a lot of great life group leaders in your life groups right now. After you've encouraged and you've talked with them, please do two things. One, email me their names so I can extend an invite to them as well. Uh, and also, uh, invite them personally to the next Life Group Leadership Training. Uh, this will be coming up December 9th at 9 a.m. in Lee Hall. Our goal is to reach 100 Life Groups in 2018. So we're going to need a lot of leaders to do this. Imagine this with me. 100 life groups means anywhere from 500 to 1,000 people being discipled regularly each week at Bethel Church. And remember that that's our goal as a church, that we would be great and better disciples. And that happens through life groups. Your help in this is crucial, and I'm so glad that you're on this team. A fourth and final tip for now is to get your life group involved in Christmas at Bethel Church. This Sunday, we're going to launch something called The Big Give. And this is how we're going to do Christmas at Bethel this year. Part of the big give will be blessing families at Bethel Church with a Christmas dinner, with some Christmas money for shopping, and some gifts for their kids. Now, we'll gather names, uh, we'll provide meals and money through something we do each year called Bringing Christmas Home. Some of you may be familiar with that or remember us talking about that each year. What we will add to it this year, though, 
is that we want life groups to be a part by maybe adopting some of those families and giving some gifts personally to those families and their children. Now, your area leaders and I will follow up with you in the weeks to come about some logistics and some details. Uh, but what I'd like you to do is in your final few meetings before the holidays, would you talk with your group? Would you inspire them? Would you excite them about giving some gifts and being a part of blessing people at Bethel Church this Christmas? Sarah and I hope that you will join us as we bless people in Jesus' name at Bethel around Christmas time this year. Well, that's it for now. Thanks again for being awesome, for doing a great job, for leading a life group at Bethel Church. You are truly a blessing. And we're honored to have you on the team. God bless. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you this Sunday at Bethel Church.